So since I wasn't recording at the time, we'll just talk a little bit. We checked out the Steam announcement for the 1.5 update and the Anomaly DLC coming out for RimWorld in a month. Uh, obviously, I'm a little bit perturbed about the timeline and it lining up with Dwarf Fortress um, adventure mode. That part really stinks. But otherwise, I'm very excited. I'm not a horror person, but of course, I am going to play it and I think we'll have a lot of fun with it. And um, yeah, I'm ju I just, there's no way we're not playing this. Also, it gives us some time to spend some time in Stardew Valley with the 1.6 update for Stardew Valley. So that makes me happy. But the Dwarf Fortress timing is not the best. We are going to, therefore, check out 1.5 Unstable Rim World. Um, <clears throat> this was just announced. It's like literally, like, I don't even know if like anyone else has even looked at this yet. But you can, when a developer does, like, public, b b public testing for Unstable Branch before an update, uh, you can join it. So you could join it, too, just like I did. We're going to... <laughs> You're welcome for the derailing. I appreciate the derailing. We were in a different, completely different category today. But that's okay. We don't need to do any more of that. Let's switch. So we are in the... Um, 1.5 unstable, and like I said, mod list currently is going to need to be reset. It's already reset, probably because of 1.5 unstable. Right? <laughs> Game's like, you can't run any of these. Um, you're welcome for the... Yeah, 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 I already read that. Same, Jay. So you are also really into it, Vulcan? I mean, I think it's going to be really fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not really a horror person. But I think in a RimWorld context, I'll I'll enjoy it a lot more than any other context. Um, Let's go ahead and just for giggles, because it's fun, we'll open a name queue. Okay, and we're in, and I'm just going to do Crash Landed. I think it makes the most sense to just kind of pursue, like, a standard storyteller. Let's go Randy, and let's go Losing is Fun. Commitment mode. Nonlinear. Smith. Let's go Smite. Smite. Okay. Generate. I'm down to, I'm downloading the update now too. Yes, you are. Heck yeah. I gotta turn on music. Y'all notice the music's missing. We gotta turn on music. It's because I was recording for YouTube. Um and I add the music in after the fact. Let's not tundra. I feel like more tropical rainforest. Is there anything different on this map? Doesn't really look like it. I don't really know what the differences are because we didn't read through the change log. We're just kind of throwing ourselves in. So if anyone did pay attention to what the actual change log is about for 1.5, please help draw our attention to the updates. Okay, I'm just going to go for this. Ideology, um... Let's go fluid. And it's like whatever. The symbol. Let's just go fluid and loyalist. Let's just start with a really low key one. Uh Doctrine of Justice. Okay, okay. Dedication to onesies. The dedicated. Onesie wearer. The comfy room. It really doesn't matter. 
Closet. Closet. No, let's just call it the closet. All right. Um, no rules about clothing because why would we restrict people about clothing when we're the dedicated to the onesies? Dance party anytime, social festival, patriotic celebration. Celebration of family. Nearby faction goodwill. Recharge side focus shit. No, no, give me a new recruit. Random recruit. Anytime little party. Done. They'll just get mad. We'll have to do all this stuff. They'll just be mad. Let's just not do any of that. Okay. Okay. Neil Pillow. Next. Okay. Um, Underground a Quick Sleeper. Ooh, you have a lover in Jet. Yeah, Jet. I don't really like Jet. Misandrist. What about Schmidt? Schmitty. They stink too. Um, your siblings. We could take siblings. Philly and Schmitty. Why oh, you got so many scars? You got a cape in your possession. Psycho psychic foil helmet. Ooh, fast learner, quick sleeper. All right, what are our skills now? Not enough. We need someone with a higher construction skill. Um, this person stinks. <laughs> We're now at a six for construction. Yeah, but you stink. Doctor. Here, we could take this person. Crafter, constructor. Now Virgil's a researcher. No, they're both researchers. We might have to randomize. Find some better people. Okay. Who do I randomize? I like this person for planting doctoring. They're pretty good. Their lover is kind of a problem, though. So maybe not. Skull and a heart. Zara. Psychic foil helmet. Is that new? That should be, um, I don't, it's not new. Is it ideology though? Or is it royalty? I mean, the psychic foil helmet helmet is not new. It's royalty. Yeah, 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 royalty. Think I'm stupid. Hi. Uh, this is just a hat that you can wear to reduce your psychic sensitivity. So you put it on like your psychically like hypersensitive person during a psychic drone. Never use it. Totally. It's not that common. I've never made one. I don't even know if you can. Uh, but sometimes you can buy them. But that should be, I think that's royalty, because royalty added a lot of new equipment that's like psychological i guess uh we could get rid of virgil now i like these two a lot better zoodles over here is freaking me out zoodles why do you have a skull and a heart in your inventory it's weird can we find a cook you stink at it Ooh. Uh, we're on losing is fun and you're nonviolent. Hmm. We could look for a different planter, someone who's better at fighting. Let's put you down here and randomize Virgil in case we want to keep that person. A planter who's better at fighting. You're not better at fighting. You're supposed to be better at fighting. Here. Okay. Okay. I'm doing it. Done. Done. I don't know why we're spending so long doing this anyway. Mm -hmm. 
What? Oh, I understand now. So what is new, what is new is that now the items in the inventory are related to the traits. Thank you, chat. So chat says that because Zoodles is a psychopath, they had a skull and a heart in their inventory. That's incredible. That's so good. See, this is why I need chat to help me because I didn't take the time to read through everything in the changelog. It was 18 pages. I have no idea what all they changed and I didn't want all the spoilers on Anomaly. So just help me. If you want to, you can help. Yeah, we're going to have to play without a loud tool, but it'll be fine. All right, Inigo. Uh, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Um, what? Huh? What? Hair? Okay. Get your guns. Get your things. Let's see. Arsony. We also have an animal to name. <gasps> what is... Oh, okay. Oh. <sighs> All right. I freaked out because when you zoom out, the animals... <laughs> Look like giant blue elephants. <laughs> and I thought there were muffle elephants. I thought there were muffle elephants added to the game. But it looks like it's just a, um, maybe like a Lao tool? Maybe they got, uh, not a Lao tool, um, Camera Plus. Maybe they got some tidbits from Camera Plus. But then they shaped it like the actual shape of the animals. So look at that. They actually look like what they are. That's really cool. Okay, uh, let's live here. This is a good start. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll put the table over there. Let's deconstruct some of this. This is granite, so I'm gonna use the granite blocks. Should we just do, um... Divides rooms an ornate door. An intricately carved door. Decorated with gold. This large heavy door requires adjacent walls to function. Y'all, should I be playing with dev mode? Should we become gods like we were in the last game? And uh, move things along a little bit more quickly? I think we should. It's unstable. We're not going to be playing this colony again. Reading is a new kind of recreation. Books? Books? Kiri. Oh, no. Add. I snoozed it. I snoozed Kid it. Kiri just Hi. raided the channel with 245 viewers. Hi. I was in stream a little bit. It looked like you were checking out a new game. Uh, yeah. Thaumaturge. How was that? We're, we're all a little bit panicking here. Uh, maybe a little bit. Um, they announced Anomaly. And if y'all didn't see, Kiri's in it. <laughs> okay, Kiri's not in it. But Kiri looks very similar. Or the art of Anomaly looks very similar to Kiri. Uh, <laughs> Kiri, how was stream? Yeah, it was. It was great, except for the horrid camera. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, um, I'll be really frank. We just got into this. We, I haven't even turned on the game music. Um, we're going to be experimenting with 1.5 Unstable. At the present time, the coolest thing I've found is that when you zoom out, you can see the animals as, like, weird blue, blue glowy things. That's all that I've discovered. Oh, no. The other thing we discovered that was really cool was um, some of the people on the starting screen when we were choosing our colonists, some of them had items in their inventory that related to their traits. And someone named Zara was a psychopath and had a skull and heart in their inventory. Hi, FG. I'm like 
This is, it's going to be so good. I'm excited about that. Um, Kiri, I thank you so much for the raid. I can appreciate you so much. I appreciate all the support. I, I appreciate all the hack and raids. Welcome in, everyone. If you do not know me, I am Ilana Orama. I yeah, am yeah, a RimWorld yeah, Plus streamer. If playing RimWorld, then I, I, think, I think we need to call, like, the National Guard in. I'm, like, pretty sure. So here's the thing. I love RimWorld. RimWorld's my favorite game, but the problem is, is that Stardew Valley is my second favorite game, and I also really love Door Fortress. So I'm a little bit panicked right now. Over all the content I want to create. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm like a little bit like, but today for sure we're doing 1.5 up, uh, unstable. We're checking it out. We're going to be doing this uh, just for today. One day only. Um, but I figured it's worth it. Like since I, I do focus so much of my time on RimWorld, we will be dabbling with um, God mode, dev mode. So, you know, I, I normally, well... We have weird interactive things here that definitely involve dev mode. But normally, I don't play with, like, uh, god mode where we can just build structures automatically. I'm doing that to help progress the colony so we can see more of 1.5 since it will be today and today only. Lex, hi, does meet. Hello, Rinks. How's it going, Kansli? Hello. So good to see you. Draxis, welcome in. Great to have you. Kiri, I can appreciate you so much. Of course, if you need to go lurky post stream, please make sure to do so. I'm talking a million words a minute right now. Ooh. I'm sorry to hear about the horrid camera. I was very lurky. I was working on some things before streams, so I couldn't really, I wasn't really chatting much. Um, FG's hyped. I am not a horror person, but I will say that I'm definitely hyped about this just because I think that it, uh, we were talking about it a little bit. It does kind of feel, oh, I should probably turn this off for a moment. Uh, it does kind of feel like it will be really fun for some specific runs, but unlike some of the DLCs like Ideology or Royalty where I play them like on every run, I probably won't do that with this one. Um, just because it's going to be so impactful on like everything in the game, you know? But I'm I'm very excited. We'll definitely be playing it right when it comes out. Uh, to keep the joke going, a person was having a dream about floating in orange soda. It was a fantasy. That's a that's a good one. That's a that's a good one. Um, ranks. Um, welcome to the pungent. We have cookies. We currently have cookies. Oh, and you can nap there. That's fine. Oh god, I forgot about Stardew. Yeah. I repeat my life, right? Yep. Yep. So you know like how I love Rimworld? Well, I also really love Stardew. <laughs> uh, Stardew is my second most played game on Steam. Like I just, like I've had no issue going back to it and playing it time and time again. I absolutely heckin' love it. <gasps> Vanilla wall lamps! Wall lamps! We gotta get ad break. We gotta take a break. Stay hyped. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. So good. I'm so excited. There's too many games and not enough time. I absolutely agree, Kiri. Absolutely. Tell an Arthro, hi! I might have gotten that high end before the ad started. Uh, you are no bearer of doom. You are fantastic. Reza? Why would you, what, you, you're the bearer of doom, never. Um, you can hide conduits too. <gasps> I love that. Okay, well, we're gonna have to work on all these things. Can you all haul this stuff? Can we haul urgently? Did they put a loud tool into the game? No? All right, it's still not great. <laughs> no octung or allowed tool. Pshh. All right, let's go on a quick break. I highly recommend that you take a break. They're good for you. So I'm going to pause the game, run some clips, and I'll be back in just a little bit. A little bit of a longer break. I was just talking with Emo. Uh, wanted to chat a bit. Which game is that? Which part? Back. What did it look like, Lenzar? What did it look like? 
I wasn't watching the video, but I'm pretty familiar with my clips. Thank you for the welcome back. Hi, Dread. Wait. Dread Bank, hi. Vanilla, oh, you were here. Hi. <laughs> Dread Bank, hi. Good to see you. So heckin' good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I'm very, like, ah, from excitement. Um, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I'm very excited about this. <gasps> Color-coded mood bar! This is vanilla. This is vanilla. No mods. No mods. Do I have to write that? Do people not know that? This is vanilla. No mods. Zero mods. There is color-coded mood bar. There is wall lights. There is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> not actually, but you know. Um, yeah. Hey again, Elon. <laughs> Dreadbank, thank you so much for the 15 stream watch street. Thank you so much for hanging out. I know, Kiralees, I know, geeking out, I know. So Anomaly looks like it's gonna be fun. Uh, definitely for some runs. I don't know that I would necessarily play Anomaly interesting. It actually showed the construction block half on the wall, half off. I'm not used to seeing that. It was interesting. It's like the wall light is actually like located on the edge of the wall in the game mechanics. Um, I would like ornate doors. Okay. <gasps> They're beautiful. They're beautiful. We need lights. We need power. Let's just uh cheat our way into power. You know what we should do? That's what we did last time. We're just gonna finish all research. Uh, and then that way, we don't have any geothermal, do we? Uh, and that way we can really see what's going on with everything. So FG mentioned this, hidden power conduits. So heckin' cool. Um, We are playing, I have uh, God mode on, so things are just being built automatically. So we have both regular power conduits, we have hidden power conduits. Waterproof conduit was already in the game, although I have never once used it. You were seeing the wounded crawling. Wounded people will crawl? Are you serious? Yes. Bring me up to speed. What's the facts? Okay, right now... What we know is that there's a color-coded mood bar in vanilla. There's wall lights in vanilla. Oh, right here. Wall lamps in vanilla. There are ornate doors, which means most likely there's a lot of other things. There's apparently new recreation items, including things like books. Books? Books? Floodlights? <gasps> Outdoor lamps. See, we'll just, this is just like universe sim. I'm just using my creator points. No mods impact, no mods. Very clear, very important to note. When I installed 1.5 unstable branch, all of my mods stopped working. This is vanilla. This is so exciting. Flood. Hacking lights, wall lamps. Okay, I'm underground power conduits. FG said something about cleaning a room from from Octung. So one of the best things about Octung. But but I have to work. I know MJ. I know. I know. I know. I do heck and appreciate your work, clerks. The hype is real. I'm so stoked. I'm having to like calm myself down every once in a while, FG. <laughs> I'm having to like take a second to breathe and be like, it's okay, you're fine. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's good. I want books. I want everything. Okay, so let's just go like this. For starters, let's build some buildings. Um. 
We'll just... I'm ornate doors every room. Every room, ornate. Let's make this the dining room. I would like them to have a nice home. I'm using hacking, like, god mode, right? I'm using dev mode to build things. I might as well have nice places for them. Okay. Um, sure, why not? I wish we had more floors in vanilla. Why couldn't you have given me more floors? Game stuttered a little. Uh, can I smooth? Okay, I have to do it with the walls one. That said smooth terrain. This is smooth surface, which is interesting. Mine vein! <gasps> There's one new floor tile on the DLC announcement. That's cool. Like with the theme. Uh, something with anomaly, Yay. probably. Mine vein is so heckin' hype. Look at this. I don't have color. Uh, color by minerals, so now I can't see anything. It says mine vein. It's only showing what's shown, which is a little different of how allow tool does it. Um, yeah, that's wild. Okay, let's go. I, I want to build a fancy base. <laughs> what's happening there? Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm happy about the lamps. I'm definitely happy about the wall lights and the new floodlights. I feel like that's a nice change to have something. I'm really excited about the new recreation. We're not even seeing it yet. I think we have to actually make it. Right? So we unlocked all research. What Reference that's set to an instance of an object. Let's just turn off demo and try again. Huh. Interesting. I did unlock all research, but it's weird that it's missing. Do they update as more is revealed? Let's see. Go down the silver one. It's more likely to have more. Class seal is probably going to be small. Yes! 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 Do you need I was wondering if we need the research table. We might as well build it. It doesn't hurt anything to build one. Even if I unlocked all the research. Uh of course I'm building it by hand. How why would I bother building by hand? I just wanted to get rid of demo for a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and just build the uh yeah, I'll just go ahead and build a high-tech one. No, I think it's having an error. But I also did research everything automatically, so I don't know if I caused that error. <laughs> um. Okay, well then, we'll get rid of that one. We can go fabrication bench. We're going to need... All the various crafting. All of it. Not fueled, Smithy. Okay. And then I'm going to turn off God Mode so my people have some things to do. I'm going to remove the floor here. I'm going to remove the floor there. Wait, what floor is this? Slate tile? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to set up a stone cutting bench. How do I want to do this? Okay, uh, we'll make another room there. We'll make like a hallway. We can shrink this. We need the stone cutting table. Stone cutter's table. Make this. We'll just throw it right here. Okay. 
Right now, I don't have them doing anything at any of these tables yet. Um, we can smell metal from slag. We'll do that forever. I love the color-coded mood bar. I'm really excited about the mining of ore veins. Automatic mining. I want to find out more about the various types of, like, books. I want to make books. All right. Anything here look new? Probably not. If there's anything new, it'd probably come with the DLC, right? Verifying the files will fix the research window. It's just an error caused by the deactivation of mod. Uh, is that something I could do right now? Or no? Yeah, let's look at weapons. What's new? Bionic jaws. Bionic jaw. Yeah, it used to just be a denture, right? We need to hop out of the game for a few minutes. Uh, we could definitely do that, but we did unlock all the research. So let's see if there's any. And maybe we should do that. Okay, weapons, minigun, LMG, everything standard there. Uh, does anyone see anything new? The art is new. Not in here. You mean from the art bench? Is there various types of art now? That would be cool. I don't know what to do with all this. Okay. Uh, we need more structures. I'm going to build them like a bedroom somewhere. Just to make sure that they... Are happy. I want happy little... I almost called them nuggets. How funny is that? We were playing more universe sim earlier. It's like every time I play a certain game, I uh, then am stuck calling it that for a while in the next game. So like when we played a bunch of oxygen not included, I kept calling everything duplicates. And I kept wanting to call them duplicates in universe sim. And now I'm calling the people in here nuggets. Okay, so this is going to be a giant bedroom for all of them to be super happy in we could even make it really nice uh there's no new floor in here and i'm not that crazy about this but i'll just do it the fine marble i always thought this was kind of a nice look like a little bit of like carpet in the middle uh sometimes it's actually like quite fun to play with god mode turned on <laughs> um it can be kind of nice we're going to relocate the beds over here. We're going to need some lights. Persona core offer. Yeah. That's just because we're like ridiculously wealthier than we should be. Uh, and be, I mean, because we finished all the research. That's why. Chicken nuggies. Yes, please. I don't see any new research projects. Okay. No, the new research, like I said, uh, I was expecting most of the new stuff to be more like from the DLC. Like, new bionics or new equipment um, would be more likely to come with the DLC, I would think, than the base gate. Right? Because we saw new things being added with royalty or uh, maybe it wasn't that one. But some of them were definitely added with royalty. And... Um, the art for some weapons is new. Ooh, that's cool. Would have been nice if there was some. <laughs> it's fine. Um, some different art in the game, I think. We have a trader here. I wish I had like a nice, like, updated HUD. That would be great. I don't have anyone that's good at social, apparently. So they didn't implement Rim HUD. Trade with BB? I would love some chicken nuggets. All right, let's go ahead and have you haul urgently. 
Uh, you two clean. That's good enough for now. I'm not making food. I probably should. I think, uh... Gotta get those package meals down here. So the exotic goods trader... We'll buy Arsene, who's probably running away right now. Has books. Has books. Triumph. Principles of medicine production. How many of these can I afford? Two right now. Let's buy them. Um. Put it on the bookshelf. Nigo. It's so door fortress, like the way the descriptions of the art are, or the artwork on the weapons. Do the books actually teach? That's what I want to know. Reading bonus in room, 0.8%. Interesting. Read principles of medicine production. Are you learning anything? No. What is uh, the book? What does the book say? Principles of medicine production. Part of the prototype has been torn away, but the basics are present. Medicine production, 40 over an hour. Oh, cool. So this is actually unlocking the research task, medicine production. So basically you could buy research. Yeah. Which, um, by the way, the books mod does that. What about the other one, Inigo? Read Triumph now. Okay, Triumph. In this mediocre narrative, the unnamed scribe captures the essence of his experiences in the war. It is a decent story, but it's often hard to follow. Recreation game multiplier 160%. Heck yeah. Uh, we need more silver. I'm buying all the books. Inigo, buy more. Anything else of interest? What's this? Archite. Metabolic plus one. This is an Archite gene pack, which already existed with biotech. Um, I don't know. It's just noticing it. Ooh, telescope. Okay. Uh, my animal's running away. I wonder if we should make a pen. Is that just different? Cause it's seal? Yeah. All I wanted was to see someone with rod stink. That's from Unstable 1.4. Yeah, we should name them. I would like to name them. Lung rot has been moved to base game. Yeah, with 1.4. Gamer plane. With 1.4, with the rot stink. There's a new organ decay thing as a disease. Whoa, what? That's wild. Uh, we gotta put our yak somewhere. So let's just uh, put a place for our yak. Our yak is wandering somewhere or another. I feel bad about it. Can we please haul in this stuff? Like, what are you all doing? You're really not going to put this on? Like, put it on. Yeah, mine last. All right. Let's name these people. Lung rot was only in biotech. Oh, uh, are you sure? Because the... The rat stink was 1.4. Yeah, we heard about that. We haven't seen it yet, but this is another one we've heard about. 
down pawns will now crawl away to safety. I am playing on Randy losing his funds, so hopefully we will get some some good chaos, you know? Uh, Inigo, can you also get... Okay, Purr's going to get that? Okay. Let's carry Max weapon. Let's wear whatever we want. Uh, medicine. Let's wear whatever we want. Let's get the telescope installed somewhere over here, maybe. Let's also make sure to do some standard doors. Like, this is a good spot for a standard door. Um, this is probably a good spot for a standard door. I'd like to leave this maybe unroofed, though. Okay. I don't think I actually queued up stone cutting, so let's just queue this up. Make any stone blocks do forever. Why is Arsene there? Oh, I didn't make the pen marker. Mortal Smurf, hi! Mortal Smurf, thank you for spending so much time here that you caused today's unicorn. Yes! My bug fix! My bug fix! Okay, so Mortal Smurf reported this, that I was complaining about it. Uh... <laughs> Tova, enjoy your heckin' lurks. Um, I was complaining about this bug fix, or this bug, where you couldn't target before a shell is loaded into the mortar. I thought, why would you not be able to target until the shell is loaded? And Smurf reported it, and they fixed it. Bug fix 1.5 can't force target mortar without shell. Yay! Uh, Smurf is streaming right now. Well, Smurf is a heckin' legend of a streamer, so that, I guess, makes sense. But, <laughs> uh, Smurf did just post that, so I was responding. Love your onesie. Thank you, Impact and Cavs. Thank you so much. It is a very expensive channel point redemption that makes me wear it, and I kind of treat it as a bit of, a, like, a loyalty program where I... Mechanoid slag chunks. Mechanoid slag chunks. Sorry, I have to do something real fast. They give seal and cover. They're not just crap on the map anymore. Yes. Ilana Arama just gave That's a me. one sub to Tova underscore Nata. 50% cover and they give seal now. So this, like, used to just be, like, you deconstruct it and it goes away. But now you can act... Uh, that's cool. I like that it gives it more of a purpose, you know? I kind of don't really like all the, like, trash everywhere <laughs> in the game. Uh, I guess we could do some regular standard wood doors, huh? I forgot that was on. Okay, so they're sleeping in here. They have kind of a nice room, but uh, they're not really hauling. Maybe that's because I don't have enough of a stockpile for chunks. So let's just make it bigger. Zion! Sorry, Tumbleweed, I changed the prefix on you. Zion, I know this is wild. Of course, Tova. Thank you so much for all the heckin' support. And thank you for being a heckin' legend on Patreon. This is loose. I'm sorry. I know I'm messing with it a lot. It's just a little loose. Let me make sure it's secure. I changed it on myself and gift. <gasps> You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Gift. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. Let's just make a note of it. Do I have any mods here? MJ, MJ, you're working. <laughs> um, Zion, I'm so excited. So obviously, like some of my like big mods that I'm playing with every time have once again been incorporated. So one thing that I didn't expect was this simplifying the sprites for the animals when you zoom out. I'm guessing that this is actually going to create a bit of a performance boost, and I'm very excited about that. Um. Yes. MJ, thank you. 
Thank you. We're making a list of them, so I update them off stream. So I appreciate anyone who noticed any of the emote prefixes uh, with the old prefix. Ilana Awanye uh, was kind of annoying. I know it was a fun joke for the community, but it was annoying for me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's now Orama, and it's a really nice, clean emote prefix. And I'm very excited Elena, about that. Yep, but we will always have that. Don't worry. We will always have that. Who's our visitor? Sayo? All right, let's see who you are. Who's here? Exclamation join if you haven't. I'm going to be drawing names. I'm going to start with Aura. Twigbriar. Twigbriar, are you here? Uh, are you a unicorn? Let's check. Twigbriar might be a unicorn. Uh, they are not. Okay, Twigbriar, say something in chat to claim your colonist. You're here. Okay, perfect. Congratulations. You are our... Sorry. Um, Nonviolent. Constructor, cook, animal handler, doctor. You're good at a lot of things. Just not fighting. Go over there. Uh, I still need to make our kitchen. So right now you're on vacation. Next up. <laughs> we have a Chaos Lobster. I saw you talking chat half a second ago. So congratulations. You are going to be pear. Purr. Purr? Chaos Lobster. You are too smart. Psychically. Wait, what were Twig Briars? Oh, Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Uh, Twig Briar. Too smart. Psychically deaf. With double passions as shooting, construction, and intellectual. You would be a researcher, but really you're going to be a crafter because I already researched everything. Because I'm, I'm cool like that. Um, So you're going to be doing a lot of crafting, probably. So, congrats on that, Chaos Lobster. And we got Inigo, Inigo Jones. Reza. Reza joining seconds ago. Very nice, rigged. Oh, that, that's rigged. Uh, rigged it just may be, who knows. We don't have anyone who's good at social, so Reza, can you just talk to this person? It doesn't really matter who talks to them. Um, we could sell them the principles of medicine production since we've already researched it, apparently. Apparently, that's all it does, is what I should say. Um, maybe I should buy their pemmican. I'm gonna buy their pemmican and their herbal meds for now. And, um, for some reason, I haven't been growing. I don't know why. <laughs> so, let's do some growing. It's not a real colony. Like, you know, we're just goofing around, obviously. Let's go, um, rice, heal root, eight. No one has an eight? That's not good. S strawberries. Cotton. This is a really big uh, patch of fertile soil. It also adds beauty if it's on the bookshelf. What does? The books on the bookshelf? Ooh, we get a higher reading bonus. Why is our why is our reading bonus going up? Tell me more. A wide bookcase for storing and displaying up to 10 books. Books stored here will passively enhance academic work done nearby. Ooh, increase the beauty of the bookcase. The sword books will never deteriorate. Reading bonus 102%. Style dominant six. What's that mean? Oh, because we have a ideology style. It is adding six points of style dominance to the area. It has three points of beauty because of the three books on it. Maybe. Do they stack bookshelves? Probably not. 
but 10 will fit on one bookshelf. And then, like, we could have more bookshelves. It's cute. You can see them. Yeah, like, the stats. Oh, the stats? We don't know. Maybe. We need more books. Can we write books? Maybe I have to do the thing to get the research tab back. How do we write books? Tell me we can't write books. We just have to buy them. We may have to do the reset, uh, whatever was being suggested about the settings. Oh, let's name the yak. There's a mad rat. Let's go over here by this person and use their help fighting. Where's the rat? Oh, over there. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. Look at how great that is. Ah, <sighs> books are obtained from traders or quest rewards. Sad. I wanted to be able to write books. I wanted to like do a run where we're like a library of passionate authors. Where did the rat go? Okay, I don't know that I like that. I zoom in and it just disappears. You know what I mean? I might still need my mini map. I'm sure so. So this is the problem though, Jonifer. That already existed. This is an idea ripped off of a mod that did it better. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's one of the issues with all these uh, updates to the game is they're picking and choosing which parts of like various popular mods they'd like to incorporate and not incorporate. And I understand like preserving like the game to how they want the game to be or whatever. Um, but also I like, you know, I know that the books mod does a really good job of all of that. Yeah. So it's kind of like I want to like have the desk where you can write the books too. And I think that's part of the problem too, is when you're you're when there's a mod already in place that has that. Um, we're now comparing all of these updates in the game to the mod. Whereas if a game just like releases and then the mods come out, you're not like comparing it back. It's there's none of that going on. Um. Perhaps the writing is part of the DLC. That could be kind of cool, Pandorific. I could get behind that. So, like, maybe there's, like, a aspect of, like, lore that goes with the Anomaly DLC. The Cthulhu stuff caused insanity and writing counteracted it. Oh, yeah. You're right. From that Call of Cthulhu mod. Cool. Yay. Cool. That's cool. Quick Briar just subscribed for 17 months. Button day. Arama yay, Arama yay. Arama yay, Arama yay. Twig Briar, thank you so much for 17 hacking months. Thank you for all of your support. Uh, that's awesome. 12 month streak. Streaking for a whole year. We'll just keep the random names. It doesn't really matter. Um,. Okay, what else do we need to explore? So we checked about writing. We don't see anything about writing. Um, me a drug lab too. Maybe I should just go paste. Everyone's gonna hate this if I do this, but. Elena, one yay, Elena, one yay, Elena, one yay, Elena, one yay. I know. Scarlet. I know. Oh, we miss Scarlet sometimes. But it's for the best. Uh, Scarlet, the old TTS lady. Um, we have Emma now. And also a different emote prefix. So it's preserved there for subscribers. We got a capybara and a yak to name. Exclamation join if you'd like to be the capybara or the yak. You won't get to choose which one. Uh, I really wish Hall Urgently was in the vanilla game. 
Uh-huh. I wish that. I'm just going to keep cheating. I hope you all know this. We got to progress. We got to set up a colony. <laughs> we got to progress. We don't have time to sit around and watch these slow colonists do the work. Uh, actually, just go food. Uh, everything there looks normal from 1.4. Okay. And then these, we're going to link these. We're going to go critical, preferably vegetarian, but I'll also allow me as long as it's not the, you know, that stuff. No animal products because we won't have very high quantities of them. So they'll just get in the way anyway. Okay. So they're going to work on that. Building a roof in that room. Is someone set to high construction? Uh, Chaos Lobster, please construct on high priority. Big Briar is doing it, but someone will do it. It doesn't matter who, just someone do it. Okay. Drug bench. Anything? No. But that's fine. Um, This was already improved, right? With the 4X. 4X is awesome. What about clothing? Looks standard. Looks good. Lex is in the name queue with Yackerman Lex. Such a good name. Nomios. Hi. Hi, Nomi. Um, I'm just realizing this might be the actual first colonist I've gotten. Usually I'm an animal. That's true. Usually you are an animal. It's too bad that this will not be like a colony we'll be maintaining. But that's okay. It's still going to be fun for goofing around in 1.5. Um, please make cowboy hats for everyone to wear. Because, like, why not, I guess? I feel like I need more colonists. What do you all think? Let's spawn a couple more. We got to name the yak in the... Okay. Let's name the yak. Hold on. Am just a J. Jay's probably lurking right now. Uh, Jay's a mod. Jay, Jay gets it. Jay gets it. Jay works here. What is that? Oh, that's sev mode. Oh, I'm cheating. My bad. <laughs> Am just Jack? Am just Yak? Yeah, that's actually kind of funny. Let's do it. Am just Yak? All right. Am just Yak. Um, And uh, the trading thing was that's that's. Because dev mode is on. It was nothing. Let's name the Capybara. FG squared. I'm also going to make an exception there. I don't... This is... This is FG. FG Barra. FG's still here. <laughs> FG Cappy? FG Cappy does sound cuter. Let's go FG Cappy. Okay. Cute. Perfect. Now we have these two people to name. I just spawned some extra people in because, like, I want the colony to be more interesting. <laughs> so, um, Mira, you grab this revolver, Sleepy. Um, I got nothing for you. Let's make you a gun. No one's got a crafting of six. Wow. That's... That's been changed. Ever so slightly. Someone get a screeny of Ilana having god mode on, right? Uh, <laughs> Ilana's cheating. I'm cheating. More. More. Yeah, we could go, like, pretty big. Why not? We could go more. Estimation join. I'm making a bunch of colonists. Can anyone make this now? They all stink. They're all crap. 
Yep, they're all crap. I mean, they're not, but like, what? No one with the six in crafting? All right. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, Chaos Lobster, use these so we get some stuff done here, okay? Uh, make change shotguns. Make like five of those. I don't even care. Let's also go over here. Let's get a new freaking vanilla wall lamp in this room. Let's get new freaking vanilla hidden conduits to go under the ground there so we can get power going this way. Hidden conduits. Super cool. Uh, this room is still what they're working on without God mode. They're very slow. I'm very fast. Do you see this? Do you see what's happening? They're, they stink. I, there's a, just so you know, Sleepy, there's a, a panther there about to attack you. That's a panther? Yeah. That's... <laughs> Who is doing planting? That's nap. Uh, they would like a nap as well. A bad joke. Bad joke. I get hungry and eat all the berries. That makes sense, honestly. That makes sense. Construct on a high priority. Clean. Good enough. Okay. Uh, more beds. Let's make more beds. This room's a mess. Nothing's home zoned. Crap. Okay, so what's this deal with like a uh, cleaning area? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It was just clean this room. Clean this room is now vanilla. So from Octung, you could always force cleaning, right? You can clean this. But now you can actually clean barracks. This was in the Octung mod, one of my favorite mods. It asks the person to clean the entirety of the room which is a really nice addition to have. So let's go ahead and name some more people. Let's move Twigbriar down to the end. Let's name some more people. Mira, who are you? Nomeos. Nomeos is still here. Nomi. Congrats on being Mira. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got thrown off by the fact that Mira had a gun. I also did not put it on the right spot. Okay. Uh, our first person was um, nonviolent. We have... You are very artistic. How about you work on art? That would be great. Why don't you just make art? Do small sculptures? No. Do large sculptures forever. I don't think it much has changed here. They've highlighted this a little bit, so it's, like, brighter. But otherwise, it doesn't feel like much has changed with the menus. Um, we're not going to do steel. You could do wood. I'm kind of leaning towards, like, slate and marble, maybe. Yeah, just do that. And that'll be Nomi. And then let's also auto cut the trees in this pen. This was a 1.4 update. That's a really nice quality of life. They will automatically queue to cut all those trees, which forces or allows more um, like other plant life, like grass or whatever to grow. I'm going to build some of these in here. You can also auto cut with these, but this will automatically be auto cut because of the pen. Um... We already have the power conduit going that way because of that. So lots of power now. We need food. Don't tell FG. <laughs> We're not hunting capybaras. Uh, low food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We have lots of people now, so food's definitely going to be a thing. How are we on growing? Why are we not growing? What's the deal there? Work? Grow? Okay, 
Reza and Nap will both be doing planting now, so you have someone to join you in Nap. Uh, sir is defeating a god. I believe I heard I'm a yak. Yes. We named the yak Am Just Yak. With a J. Vulcan! Vulcan, are you still here? I wonder if there's otters now. Yeah, I didn't see that. Uh, brains. Brains coded, coded ok dung. Brains. Same person that does Harmony and um, Zombieland. Only one aspect of Octung has been implemented, Lenzar, the cleaning of a room. So Chaos Lobster, for example, can be forced to clean this workshop and they clean the whole room, which is a really nice addition. It's just only one aspect of Octung, which has a lot of nice things, right? But that is a great addition. Um, I am here for it, especially because cleaning has always kind of been such an issue, right? Cool. Oh. Can you relocate this? Okay. Let's bring this one down as well, just because we have a lot of colonists now. We'll queue up a bunch more chairs and whatever else. Uh, how is this? No, I didn't. Z, search the whole map. Packaged arrival meals. The results found. It's what's already in our stockpile, so we don't have any to haul in. <gasps> Control F mod. Yeah. Whoa. Even comes up with the ore, uh, the veins of ore. And then all the stacks, of course, but also the buildings and stuff. Cool. That's super cool. Oh my gosh. That's super cool. That should have been in such a long time ago. I know. But I mean, even just having like... The search bar here was a nice addition, right? There's so many of us that were like so happy to have like some search functionality added. Um, we're smelting metal from slag. We're making cowboy hats, except we're not. So don't do that. Make um, dusters. Make a couple of these. Who's like Chaos Lobster is the only person basically. Okay. Is someone hunting on a high priority? No. No Mio's. You're our hunter now. Please hunt. Yes, officer, you can also hunt. We also need... I don't think we're even butchering, honestly. Drinky beer. Help me, know me. Deliver. I wonder... Okay, we are planting now, at least. Hunter lacks suitable weapon. Yeah, I don't have guns. Yes, officer? Okay, you definitely can't be hunting. You gotta be crafting. Yeah, we'll do that. Chaos officer will craft first, then we'll go from there. Um, that'll help a lot when a pawn with a mana sword gets down. Oh, yeah, exactly, Netjam Jr. Like, we have mods that are like, where is my weapon? Just to find a weapon that they dropped somewhere on the map, right? We have allow tool to allow all things in the map, which, by the way, is now in vanilla. If you don't know, you can right-click on this, unforbid all items on the map. This is... 1.4, maybe 1.3. One of the previous updates this was added. So there were, in the previous updates, there were other mods that were added as like quality of life um, additions. Did I accidentally destroy one of my 
I think I might have. The mining of the ore veins is a big game changer for me. That one I really like. But the thing is, is like, am I really not gonna play with a Lao tool? I think just haul urgently means I'm still gonna wanna play with a Lao tool. They should have implemented haul urgently. They should have implemented haul urgently. Cause without haul urgently, I'm still gonna play with a Lao tool. You know what I mean, right chat? Right. Randy's going to come and, like, wreck us when we finally get raided. We have nothing. I could spawn some stuff in. Maybe I'll just spawn a couple things. I already cheated to do all the research. Let's just get um a couple of assault rifles. And a couple helmets. The rest is fine. We'll figure it out when we get there. Oh my God, why? No, they're like freaking gold. What's that one, silver? No, oh, get rid of that too. I don't wanna kill, I just wanna destroy. This one's silver too. That left me with two. Two flak helmets. Sleepy's gonna put one on. Who's Sleepy? Sleepy, grab a gun. You want a helmet? You can get a gun. Who's Sleepy? Jonifer. Jonifer, you still here? Say something in chat. Jonifer, claim your colonist. I am, um... Yes, okay, perfect. I thought you probably were. Jonifer, congratulations. You're Sleepy. <laughs> no, really, you're Margarita Page. You're a tough, psychically sensitive. Uh, you're passionate about shooting and cooking and crafting, and, but you're not really good at those things. Same with Melee. You like art. You're a best social person, I think. Yeah, you're our best social person, without a doubt. You're our warden. Um, yeah, you might help with stone cutting, it looks like. <laughs> You're definitely our warden. Nomeo's is still the best artist, but you could be next best, I guess. Yeah, you're not really that great at uh, skill ca crafting, so I'd probably have you do stone cutting. That's a that's an important task, though. Stone cutting, important task. All right, let's get animal corpses in here, just because I'm noticing the capybaras on the ground. Let's butcher creature forever. Make the radius small. And who's my cook? Jonifer, you can butcher, but maybe not cook. So you can actually help. Um, okay, now we got paste, which means we officially have some food. Barely, but technically food. Um... What do you think you're doing? Get out of here. Ad break, ad break, ad break. There's an ad break coming. We're gonna be taking a break. I highly recommend that you take a break, get a snack, get a beverage, do the things. But if you don't need the things, you can play words. Thank you, Gamer Plane. I nearly missed it. I appreciate that. Um, Play words. This is great. We'll be doing this for the rest of the stream. I usually stream six to seven hours. So at least a couple more hours of RimWorld. Make sure to drop a follow if you're not yet following. Uh, food's good, drinks are good, playing word games good, stretching your legs also good. Whatever you need, take care of it now. Meds check if you need meds. Karai, hello, good to see you, hi. We're going on a quick little break because of ads. So be right back. I'm not running away from you, I promise. Sorry about that. I was finishing up a little snack. <laughs> Um, Zunai, hi! Thanks for being here and playing and stuff. Good to have you. Um, Lex had the second most amount of points after Jonifer, who got the points the first Welcome time around. Back. So Lex enjoys some bonus berries. 
Your computer froze for the whole of the second words. Oh no, I won and I didn't even play. Yeah, you won from earlier. From being so awesome earlier, you won. Okay, let's do more of this. This is cool. Why are we not getting raided? I did pick Randy. Losing is fun, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, boy. These people are bad at fighting. Okay. Uh, Kelvin, please equip this. All the assault rifles that I spawned in with dev mode are awful or poor. Super cool. Okay, fine. We're just doing it for, um, it's just for chaos fun anyway, right? So, nap, you're going to go ahead and get this one. And, Gasparage, we're going to make you a long sword. All right, what's Chaos Lobster up to? You should now exclusively be crafting. Okay, you are. Hunter lacks suitable weapon, yeah. Where are you going? Where do we have steel on the map? What's that? Oh. Is there steel on the map? Yeah, here, here, here. Uh, Nomeo, Nomeo's is mad about hunting. So let's get Jonifer doesn't haul. Nap. Please haul. Kelvin. You don't haul. Reza. Please haul. Gasparage. Please haul. Okay. What does Kelvin do? Craft. Low skill craft, maybe. Heck, I wish we had more crafters. <laughs> I could let them, like, learn. <laughs> I could be like, Kelvin, time to learn to be a crafter. And Kelvin could work on some, maybe some cowboy hats. Before some, like, dusters, I think. Wow, that was horrible. All right, so now we're going to need a storage room. We're going to need uh, shelves. So let's go granite. I'm going to make them actually build this one because I think we've gotten pretty well established now. So we're just going to go granite room, uh, wooden door. We're going to continue this, like, hallway thing. Um but I don't like that it's not three wide. I really want it three wide. So let's go like that. Yeah, I think we're probably good to turn off dev mode. Let's just run with it. We got a bunch of extra colonists. We unlocked all the research. I think that'll give us a chance to just really... Um, Go far. Yes, yes, Bree. Thank you for repeating your question. I did answer ever so slightly, uh, but I think it's better to discuss. Also, Bree, please, why did you change your color? Um, so, uh, Bree, this person in chat named Easy Breezy, who I've I've never met before. Um, <laughs> um my favorite things so far are definitely like the quality of life mods that are, have been implemented that I use in every run and it just feels really good to have it implemented. Like wall light is a really good one. It's now a default wall lamp. Wall light was a mod. Uh, maybe I might still play with it, depends. Uh, it doesn't look like without... Yeah, so it doesn't have a wall sun lamp which the wall light mod does have. So if you want the wall sun lamps, maybe you're still gonna go for wall light, but a vanilla wall lamp is much overdue and I'm very happy to see that. I also think it's really heckin' cool that we have a floodlight. 
like an outdoor floodlight for like large regions of light. That's so good. That makes me so happy, right? It's very little, but it makes me very happy. This ornate door is vanilla. Yes, cookie, cookie. We are in 1.5 unstable. So we are in the branch of the game that will be released alongside Anomaly. Of course, we don't have Anomaly. No one has that yet. Well, some developer or some content creators maybe got an access. We don't know. But um, like we don't have Anomaly. We just are looking at what will be the vanilla game at the time that Anomaly is released. Look at Nomi. Nomi is currently reading a book. I can't tell you how happy this makes me. Yed! Yed! It's horror themed. Yed, it was crafted for you. Would it but it but Yed! Yed! It's Eldritch Horror. It's like the Call of Cthulhu mod that, by the way, I know from watching Yed play it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very loud. I am in caps like impact in caps. I am in caps. New DLC or big update? Both. Both. So in one month, Rimworld, Gasparage. What are you doing? What's wrong? Oh. Oh. This is a little different. This UI looks just a little different. Look at that. Looks a little different. Um, so in one month, they're coming out with 1.5 alongside a just announced like minutes. Well, not minutes, hours, two hours ago about uh, Anomaly. The next RimWorld DLC is horror themed. It looks like there's monsters. There's a new end game having to do with a Bizzle Void. Defeat the Void, win the game. I don't know. We're obviously going to be playing it. I, you know, make a point to do RimWorld content, so we're playing it. But yeah, I'm kind of... It will awaken. It will awaken. The question is, will we win? Will we defeat it? Uh, who wants to be Gasparage? Let's make this Yed. I'm going to cheat and make it Yed. You know why? Because this person seems doomed. <laughs> Sorry, Yed. <laughs> Will be like Subnautica. No, I don't think I'll be as scared of it, MJ, because of the 2D nature of the game. I don't think I'll be uh, actually scared of it. For me, it's very much so an immersion thing, feeling very like immersed in the scary scenario. I I don't I don't think I'll feel scared by RimWorld. Um. What do you think, chat? Will I be scared? I'm scared of a lot of things. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be scared of games. I'm scared of games all the time. I think Harmony auto updated to 1.5 broke my game, so I got to do the beta thing, right? No, Cookie, you can choose the 1.4 version of Harmony. I don't know how to do that. But I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Chat, please help. I hope it's not Defeat the Void. It would be more on theme to sacrifice the world to it. Okay, so I think there's somewhere in the workshop, like when you're at the mod, where you can like choose versions. There is a way to maintain your game in a prior version. Um, and since the mod is the only thing at issue, I, I'm i probably going to have to do the same thing. If Harmony auto-updated 1.5, that broke all of our RimWorld modded runs, right? I think you'll be eager for a new challenge. Me? With the DLC? 
the end game. I'm I'm so eager for a new challenge. Uh for sure, Bree. I would definitely agree to that. I Where are these raiders? Right here. Butters. Swell. They're like all Molotovs. They will prepare for a while, then attack. I wish we had armor. I think going vanilla, going vanilla is always a breath of fresh air for me. I was hoping to finish my, um, my YouTube playthrough though. Like I was going to revert back after this, back to the main line of the game, uh, and try to finish my YouTube playthrough. It's going to be hard to finish it though. If Harmony auto updated, I don't know. Maybe I just won't. It's it's not my intention ever to abandon a run, but it was an Arconexus run, so it's been a really long haul. No meos. Alcohol addiction withdrawal. Okay, that's not really your fault, so I'll forgive you. Um. Okay. Okay, I think we got one. We caught one. Get him. We caught him. Cyber Trust, hi. Sonic we are. Just raided the your timing is hilarious minutes. because we're being raided in Rimworld too, and it's kind of like you knew that or something when you raided. Um, we could like rename them to Cyber Trust. No, do not. Shooting Reza. How's stream? H hide your traz. The raccoons have arrived. Oh no! Wait, the raccoons are cute. Raccoons are cute. I think I'm okay with this. How was stream? Cyber traz, I heck and appreciate you. Hi Spencer. Hi East East Oh shit. Eastihu? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Cybertraz, I had to appreciate you. I hope you had a wonderful stream. What were you playing? Star Stardew Valley, what are you doing? You're a week early. <laughs> what are you working on in Stardew? More Rimworld all the time. Okay, okay. All day, every day. Yes, we love Rimworld. And yes, we weren't supposed to be playing Rimworld today. But yes, we're playing Rimworld today because they announced that 1.5 is in Unstable. I may have been watching shortly. Uh, my my stream, I don't understand. And stream was great. My stream crashed playing Medieval Dynasty. Oh yeah, so you tried Sturdy Valley and I'm fully enchanted. You haven't played it before? I'm just building on my farm so far, making voices for the characters. I can't wait to explore the storyline. Cybertraz. If you're playing vanilla, you should be able to just play that same story, that same farm um, in 1.6. It should be no issue. I'm going to start over because my most recent playthroughs in Stardew Valley are highly modded. Um, and they won't be updated. Everyone say hello. Oh, Cyrus, hi. Nap. I, I haven't named everyone. Do y'all want to be in this colony so you can get shot like nap? Yeah. And Jonifer. All right, people, we need to do better. Shooting level two. Yeah, like, yeah. Death in 11 hours. Okay, nap. You gotta you gotta get out of there. Can you self-tend? Mm, not really. Just keep doing it. You're fine. Why did I go out here? Why did I decide to do this? Why was this the move? Sounds glorious. I volunteer everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Everyone go home. Go home. Go home. Uh, 
Um, we're doing, uh, we're, no, no, no. We're, we're just goofing around today. Uh, they're beginning their assault. Of course they're beginning their assault. Because we're, we're not home yet. And I don't know why I decided to do this. Okay. Uh, you three keep going. Jonifer, addicted to ambrosia. Who are all these people with these addictions? I want to heal all of them. And the toolkit ruins me. You all ruined me with Twitch Toolkit. Not really. Um, I still want to try hard. I just just said that thing about heals, and I was like, that's because of Toolkit. Please get the person with the Molotovs. Please do better. Okay. Uh, you know what? You two run over here. Go, go. Okay, good job, Nap. You can stay where you are. That one's dead. Oh, they're dead. Okay, we have two more coming, but they're the ones that are injured. We have one near us. Nomi is shooting, but not behind cover. So move back. Reza, stay where you are. Jonifer and Nap, you're going to come over here. This group, I hope this group can take out this one before the rest of the approach. Reza, you're just getting shot. Do you doctor? Yeah, come over here. You just got shot again. They're shooting you. <gasps> well, I'll move forward. Okay, Reza. Nap here. Reza here. Nomi, come back. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> Who's butters? No, we don't need them. We don't need them. Everyone, just let them leave. We're fine. I think. Yed's just sleeping. Yed didn't have a weapon. Butter! Heck yeah, butter. Butters! Exactly, exactly. Um, oh boy. Okay, so, um, yes. So, Concerned Ape said, Cybertraz, that you could play your existing story, your existing run. The only thing is, is that for, like, someone like me, who maybe is, like, beyond three years in the farm, um, okay. Kelvin, can you doctor? Who doctors? Twigbrier. Can you just like grab, nap, and tend them? Um, Jonifer needs tending, I think. Yeah. Reza, tend Jonifer. Yeah, why not? Just use glitter world medicine. That's fine. Ten Nomi. Okay, stop with the glitter worlds. Reza. Ten Nomios. Um, so I was saying, like, I'm I'm too far along, like, in my playthrough. Like, I don't think I would want to start that playthrough for it because it's like I would miss everything would feel like it's very late. Like it's very late on to be having those experiences. But since you're kind of just starting out, it feels like it wouldn't be late. To be exploring any of the storyline added with 1.6. We're talking about Stardew. If anyone's not caught on, we're talking about Stardew, not uh, the RimWorld update. I'm going to be starting a new farm. I'm probably going to go vanilla unless Automate is out. If Smappy and Automate are updated, I might grab those. Um, just for the sake of it, like efficiency. Let's name a couple more of these people. Let's name Nap, the one who's wandering. Osiris. You know what? I'm just... Uh, Osiris is, is right there. I'm just going to name people. We're not going to be in this colony for a long time. So if people aren't here to claim it, it's not that big. Here at least... There we go. 
don't think I see as well in my contacts as I do with my glasses. All right, everyone's named. Perfect. Um, I have like an ever so slight mi mild allergy to contacts. Uh, nothing like I'm not allowed to be wearing them. I am wearing them with um, the permission of my doctor. Uh, but yeah, I just, uh, sometimes it feels like I'm like trying to read things and I'm like, am I like not able to see? All right, what is happening here? Is this just, yeah. Just like giant walls everywhere. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, we'll just keep doing this. Just keep doing that. Don't put a door there. Just straight walls. Okay, Jonifer has an infection. Yeah, look at this room. Nomeo's clean the barracks. Who's my best best doctor again? Is it Reza? It is Reza. But Twigbriar, you're also a very good. Um. Wait, who is the infection? Chaos Lobster. And Jonifer. Okay. So they're the ones in the medical beds. Let's go ahead and work on while we're at it. We should probably make a hospital. I'm just going to use dev mode to do it because everything's taking a long time because these colonists kind of stink. I mean, what? I didn't say it. I didn't say that. Mm. They're great. They're wonderful. They're, they're really phenomenal. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful to them for how good they are. Uh-huh. Really, really good pawns. So, I'm making a chimney here. This is something I like to do. Um. Kind of protects your cooler, basically. Protects your cooler. Okay, so this is going to be our hospital. I am making it with dev mode just because we don't have a lot of resources and we're trying to like advance the colony artificially through these kind of things. Uh, and this is definitely a way to do it is just to use God mode to like build things in the colony. Um, that was a choice, okay. Slate tile on the ground. We'll also do... S oh! I didn't realize I could build underneath. That's weird. We can do slate tile through all of here just so it's faster when they move around. And through this room. Nice. Uh, also, I really like when bases look good. So, it'll, it'll look really nice if we do something like this. Mine this. So all that stuff. We still have no food. Huh. Okay. Please hunt more animals. All of these. Kill them. Okay. We're gonna just hunt a bunch of animals. Ooh, longsword. That's for Yed? Yeah, Yed. No, Yed's a wimp. Uh, wasn't there someone else? Osiris. That's gonna be yours. We're gonna swap you when you stop wandering. How are our infections? Have you not been tended? I gotta turn off dev mode. Okay, you've been tended. Yeah, Slobster? Looks pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Hey, thank you for the follow. Cybertrust, thank you again for the raid. Thank you for the watch streak. I heckin' appreciate you. Sorry, I'm getting very excited about RimWorld things. Zool, hello. A night dweller. You caved in pretty quick. We are in 1.5. That's different. That's different. I said we weren't going to play more RimWorld until we got the DLC. Or the update. This is the update. It's just unstable. Can pawns run and gun, or is that still mod? Oh, that's definitely still going to be a mod. That would change too much. I think that would change too much. 
I'd be really surprised if they added that. But run and gun's very fun. It just changes the um the way you defend your colony entirely. Mood bars, color coded mood bars, vanilla. That makes me really happy. We got wall lamps. Um, we have ornate doors. I haven't seen anything else yet. Uh, I was hoping for more to go with that. The ornate doors. Give me something else, you know? Uh, the bookshelves, the books. Books are really cool. I'm super into that idea. So, um, the books, they give recreation. They also give a reading bo bonus to this room. A, um, like, research bonus, I guess. And then it also said that they will increase the beauty of the bookcase. This is really cool. Lanix, no worries. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. I hope the Twitch break has been nice for you. Rocket Swarm Launcher is vanilla since 1.4. Uh, it was added in 1.4 at the same time. The um, foam turret was added. There's a lot of things that like you might not realize are with 1.4 because you've been playing modded since. Um... 1.4 was pretty big update. It added like the colored lights. It added the painting of the walls. It added the color uh, heat map. It added some aspects, uh, sort of one aspect of Octung, which is like being able to line up pawns a certain way. That's an Octung. It doesn't really do it as well as Octung did. Um, and therefore, I still think you have to play with Octung. The cleaning of the room is nice, but again, it's not as good as Octung, which has a lot more than just the cleaning of the rooms. So I still think it's worth doing. Let's get more recreation. Can you all do like a... Um... We need to be growing more. What is that? We'll have some of it that's, like, not on the fertile soil, but it'll still be growing. It'll do something. Uh, major break risk. That's interesting. We are playing on losing is fun, Randy, and I, like, it's kind of like chaos mode because I haven't really been paying that much attention, and then I spawned a bunch of extra colonists, some of which are not really that great. I mean, what? You're all wonderful. Hidden Conduit. Can we see the description of that? Absolutely. You can see whatever you want to see. Just let me know. We're goofing around today. Doing this for the sake of all of our learning of what's going on in the 1.5. Um, I don't really care how much of the colony progress. What I care is that we see what 1.5 features, right? So this says Hidden Conduit. Hidden electrical cables for moving power around. They're tougher than regular conduits. Oh. Also slower to build and more expensive. Tougher is interesting, but 0% flammable. 0% flammable. They're not flammable. That's good. So they're tougher. They're maybe a little bit more resistant. Like, they're not flammable. This is a good example. Not losing it to fire. Yeah. Yeah. Are the regular ones flammable? I was thinking that they might not be. But then, um... They actually might be. Yeah, because if you have... Remember, if you have a power conduit that doesn't have a wall on top of it, sometimes they disappear. Yeah, that's really good. It's uh one work to build a standard one and costs one steel. It's five work... To build the hidden one and costs two steel. More HP and not fail flammable. It's a great upgrade specifically for your conduits out and about, right? These conduits, like especially. But you can also build this under your walls. You could use these everywhere. Uh, and no beauty debuff. Did we miss something else? 
Beauty minus two for regular power conduits if they're seen, right? Does that, does that? It's got to be if they're seen. Yeah, I'm wondering if the ones inside the wall are still giving you the negative beauty, though. Because if they are, then maybe it makes sense. We gotta... We gotta make a storm room. This is ridiculous. I'm just... I'm just doing this so we can progress and have a nice space for goofing around 1.5. I know it's a little bit silly, but I think it's worth it. I should, like, let you all buy pawns and stuff. <laughs> we don't have toolkit. It's not possible. Don't ask. All right. Can we roof this? Why are we not roofing this? Outside a Larry area home. Oops. Major break risk. Yeah. You're fine. I think you're fine. So what I actually should have done was I should have done the two doors. Oops. Oh my gosh. Clicked on the wrong tile. Should have done the two doors there. So let's just fix this real quick. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And then we're just going to do a hallway of columns. And it's just going to be basic defenses, so that way I got rid of the urn. I just yeeted it from existence with my god powers. Universe Sim has gotten to my head. It's not really long enough. Ide ideally, to do it the way that um, Drongo and... FG and whoever else use it, uh, it should be longer, probably. We'll just go out a little bit longer. This should be pretty good. It really should be long. <laughs> Doesn't feel that long. Okay. Good enough. Edge of the map, good enough. Okay. Good enough. Uh, we should read Ever today. He got partnered about an hour Everyone ago. I've been waiting to hear about that. I am so hacking excited for him. Yes, Bree. Yes. Thank you for saying that. I'm so excited to hear that. I had no idea. I had no idea. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, yeah, he, after I got partnered, he mentioned that he had a pending app, and I was like, it's gonna happen. I honestly, in, in my head, I was like, I kept saying, oh, there's no way I'm gonna get partnered before an amazing streamer, like, ever does. Like, I kept thinking, like, no, I'm sure this will be a no, because, like, it's just not my time yet. Like, look at these other amazing people. Yed, what are you doing? I'm so excited for him. I'm so excited for him. I didn't know whether to say anything. What do you mean? That's my IRL friend. So ever, Joe. <laughs> so ever, Joe. I never call him Joe. I never call him Joe because I knew his name was Joe long before all of you did. And so I I made a point never to use it, and now everyone's using it, and I'm like, I can't call him Joe. I'm not supposed to call him Joe. <laughs> I'm so excited for him. We're like partner buddies. Oh, that feels so good. That makes me so happy. March 2024 is lit. Two of my favorite streamers got partnered, right? 
That makes me so happy. Palanova, hi. How's the RimWorld hiatus? <clears throat> it's uh it's going great. It's 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 definitely a hiatus. I'm definitely not also cramming in lots of YouTube RimWorlding things. <laughs> um, no, we updated to 1.5 unstable. So I kind of thought that there would be a chance that we would see RimWorld before the DLC if we could do the unstable branch of 1.5, which is what we're doing. So we're going to do it today. Um, <laughs> but we're still going to take the... I, I think this game is pretty fun. No, we're still going to take the rest of the time off, okay? <laughs> Um, Tynan, I saw a cabin in the woods and I thought the monster lab was awesome. Is that what Tynan said? Oh my God, that's so good. That's so good. I didn't get the chance to read all of it because we kind of uh, grazed over it and hopped right into Unstable. I don't feel like there are quite as many updates as 1.4 had, but I'm super excited for everything. Like... Even just the fact that the wild animals are blue, we saw that the hostile animals were red and that they made these, these simplified sprites for them as you zoom out. You can see the named animals still in white. I like that. I think that's great. Same with the people. They're like simplified sprites. Does that mean... I don't think we actually got the added zoom though, right? We don't actually have the added zoom. This is still vanilla. Yeah, this is still vanilla. So it's like part of Camera Plus with the way Camera Plus had handled the um, dudes on the map. Uh, looks like a few cool things, but some things are a bit too much for me, I think. Like what? Like the ornate door? Do you not like the ornate door? I really like, this was another really cool thing. Um, personality traits can affect inventory items at the game start. So you can get a colonist that comes with an inventory item based on their trait. We had someone who was a uh, psychopath and the psychopath had like a skull and a heart in their pocket. It was super cool. I like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Hendy, I, I um, I didn't read about all the DLC. I want, I want to experience it firsthand. Um, I think we we did discuss this. I think based on some of the things you're talking about, right? Like those examples. Um, I wouldn't want to play it every time. I think you play it some runs for a very specific type of themed run. I think that one of the mistakes people are making, in my personal opinion, uh, is just thinking that you can just like, like pile on all these DLCs and like still play the game at say your same storyteller difficulty or when you're very new and hardly know the game. Um, I've had a few people that have picked up RimWorld since I started playing it, and they've been like, oh, should I get biotech or should I get, um, this looks really cool, should I get ideology? And I'm like, it actually makes the game harder. It adds complexities to the game that you're not ready to take on when you haven't learned the base game yet, right? And so it's my opinion that the DLC should, I think, personally, that we should be looking at them more as like, separate entities that don't always get put on every run. So when we look at our run, what is the story we want to... Know me, what's going on? Do you see how it's pulsing with the extreme break risk? I like that. Very much not a DLC for new players, 100%. But I would argue that all of them have made the game harder, that royalty does the least so. I think that royalty um, is, if anything, it maybe even makes it easier for you. Like, if you take sidecasts and you use them to your benefit throughout a royalty playthrough, like, that's going to give you an advantage over your enemies, right? Um The pulsing of the things. Can you? 
Come back here, recreate? We have no food. We have nothing. I'm okay. I'm going to spawn some things. Uh, let's just get some like corn or whatever, right? Because people are starving. I don't want people. Oh, this is the plant. Oh my. What do you mean? The plant is a full thing stack? That's weird. That's so weird. Um, my bad. <laughs> Base grows corn inside. No, it's just dev mode. It's just dev mode. I was just cheating to get some food because I made us, I gave us too many colonists before we were ready. Apparently we have tons of rice though outside, which I didn't realize. Can we have someone trade with this person? Who's my socialite again? Jonifer. Uh, we have a couple of addictions. And so I was trying to make sure that like people are, are gonna be okay, but we are not okay. Let's go ahead and cremate corpses here. Right where it's already happened, where there's already a corpse. Oh boy. Okay, I would like to buy books. Do you have books? No? Okay. Very boring, but we have chain shotguns and long swords in our storage. So we should get those. Um, we can buy their medicine and their food. Some of their medicine and their food. Really? Ugh, four medicine. All right. I wonder if we can grow heal root now. Can I grow a really big thing of heal root? Okay, it looks like we can now. Okay, so moods are pretty bad. Um, Schedule-wise, everything looks similar to what we're used to. Fire starting spree, no meos, fine. Do it up there, that's perfect. The green mental break is nice. That's a nice touch. Bye, Warg. Caravan menu is way easier. Nope, still sinks. What do you mean? It still sucks. What do you mean? It's the same, and it still automatically selects your supplies, which is dumb. Um, it doesn't summarize it on the side. Send instantly is... This is dev mode. That's always been in dev mode. I was just getting into coastal settlements. Yeah, that's dev mode. I have dev mode on because we were spawning some things into the game. I was worried about these people. All these people on mental breaks, you know? They're like insulting each other and stuff. It's because I like spawned all these colonists. I spawned all these buildings and we don't even have like farms growing yet, you know? So um, it's obviously not a re recommended way to play. Um, but given the fact that I'm just trying to like goof around in 1.5, I'm just gonna like get them some beers or whatever. Yeah, so that's dev mode. Dev mode allows for send instantly. If you ever have the game really, really bugging out on sending a caravan, you can use that to just force your caravan out. Uh, and honestly, I kind of recommend doing it because it can be really frustrating to have a caravan that does get stuck over and over again. Um, where is this panther? <gasps> no! Nomeos is so far away! I thought it was going to be going after... Good luck, Nomi. Wait. The panther is hunting Nomeos, and now the panther is running away. Is the panther hunting Twigbrow now? Oh boy, we're gonna die. Reza, please attack. 
Osiris, back up. Osiris, back up. Don't shoot Reza. <gasps> Don't shoot Reza. Okay, Reza, back up. Osiris, back up. These people are going to shoot you. Jennifer, right here. Right here. Right here, Jennifer. Shoot from here. Reza, run. Run, run Reza. <sighs> We're okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. Nomi's on fire. Nomi's on fire. No me. No me. Stop playing with fire. It's not safe. You gotta see someone get down though. No me might get downed. No me might get downed. Let's watch Nomi. Nomi's walking into the fire. Nomi's so hot, the only thing and the only option is to romance her. Um Nomi cannot walk. Okay, Reza's dying. There's no lights in this room. No, I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> okay, lights. Okay, Reza's going to rest. Who's going to attend Reza? Twig briar. Nope. Reza, it looks like you might be self-tending. Please self-tend, Reza. And um, let's build another shelf in here and put medicine on it. This, this, the ability to add medicine or whatever you wanted to store on that thing before it's built was a 1.4 update. Some of the updates to the game have definitely been absolutely massively huge quality of life improvements. Uh, Kira Lees, please come here. Are you fast? I hope so. Oh, boy. Jennifer, also come here. Okay, so... Nomi's crawling! Run away! Nomi! Look at them crawling away from the fire. Don't crawl into the fire! <gasps> Save them! Save Nomi! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. It's mildly horrific. Their crawling is very scary. I think like it'll go really well with the new DLC. <laughs> okay, put out the fire on Nomi. Can you rescue the gun, Kirillis? <laughs> Why can't you haul it? You don't haul. Gun's gone. It's fine. We don't need it. Forget it. Nomi's more important. You did it. You saved Nomeos. Oh my gosh. All right. Reza, you were supposed to self tend and you're literally just sitting here dying. Wow. Buy grenade launcher. Thank you. It doesn't work, but thank you. Send Osiris. Yeah, we still need to build these. Okay. Um, power conduits actually would be better off if they cross the other way. So let's do that. Cross that way. 
Yeah, well, actually, I could just put the more powerful ones under here if I'm worried about them getting destroyed during the raids, right? Um, it's an idea. It's an option. That's a roof. Twigbriar's insulting Yed. Yed's wandering off. Yed probably shouldn't be wandering so far, but it's fine. Jennifer's about to freak out. Insulted Ambrosia withdrawal. Yeah, Jennifer's addicted to Ambrosia. Uh, can you, um, drink a beer? Girlies, can you drink a beer? Yed, can you drink a beer? Yed would like many beers, Yed is going to alcohol binge. Okay. Please haul the rice. I miss Hall urgently. Nomi can't walk. Nomi did uh, crawl. That was very interesting to see. Kind of a little creepy for sure. Not assigned to doctoring. Reza, can you feed Nomios? Drink a beer, then feed Nomi. Everyone's so mad. Kira Lees, can you cremate? I thought I did this. Remake corpse do forever. Uh, everything but calling us. Copy, paste, details, animals, rotten. Done. Jennifer, help. You don't do it. You don't haul. Kira Lee's, you don't haul. These people stink. <sighs> Wasn't somebody? Yeah, they're they're all really crappy. They're all a bunch of really crappy call. Colonists. Reza is, um, oh, heck. Maybe it was you, Kirlies. It's Nomios. Alcohol withdrawal. So do we got to arrest Nomios? All right. I don't want to arrest Nomios. Fine. Give me, give me my base. Give me my big base. I like big bases. And I cannot lie. Okay. Walls. Uh, what about over here? What are we gonna do with this crap? I can't believe ever got partner. I'm so freaking stoked. I'm so excited for him. You all, you gotta know, like, especially having just gone through it myself, like, I know what it feels like to wait for that application and the roller coaster of emotions you go through. I just, he's so deserving of it. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay. Beautiful. Giant walls. We did it. Okay. So now I need a prison. <laughs> uh, let's just make a really small one for now. And this is just going to be where we put Nomi. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I feel like it would be great to just have, like, another one on the other side. Because, like, it's kind of, like, weird having it up here like this. So what I would probably want to do is, like, deconstruct those. Um, Maybe relocate some of the bookshelves. Why don't you... No, don't do that. Creamy, cremate them. Cremate them. See, I like, I miss work tab. I'm gonna have a heckin' time. Connor sees rescue. Yet no, in incapable. Okay. Yet no longer incapable of walking. That was very fast motions. We got an ad break. Oh, I miss Palanova's stream streak. I said hi, but I missed your stream streak. I really appreciate the stream streak. Ma, 
very hyped up. I'm overwhelmed a little bit by my own emotion. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by my own emotion. Um, okay, so we're gonna put Nomeos in here, okay? So Reza, just arrest Nomeos. Osiris? Okay. Recruit, reduce resistance. This is different. This is different. Stream streak, kind of hard to say. Yeah. Um, let's take a quick little break, but this is different. We'll look at it when we get back. I will right, we'll be right back. With 16 new fish ponds. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to play Stardew. We found out we have a month. I'm going to play Stardew. You're just going to deal with it, okay? Thanks. Welcome back to you, too. Y'all, I want to go say hi to Dever. Um, What else are we missing? Did we see anything? Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Magnifying glass? Yeah, there's a... Do you know about this? Do you see this? Z. Z? Brings up a search for the entire map. Look at this. Look at this. This might be the best edition. I keep forgetting to to show people again. This might be the best edition, Hyundai. This is really good. This is huge. This might be one of the best things about the mini map mod. Is like being able to like search for and find things on the map. These are mining nodes. Literally, you can search for mining nodes. The ruins are coming up because they're made out of steel. Uh, if you wanted to do something like berries and find all the berries on the map, right? We get some, maybe mine are all here because I was growing it. But if that was like forageables left on the ground, you could click on it, find it, and go tell someone to grab it. Uh, I also really like this. I do really like that the sprites are simplified. I'm hoping that we will see some better performance with that. Particularly when you have extra large raids. Um, Cause like, if you look at these people, it says their names, but the sprite above them is simplified, which I think is a good sign. I also like the colors. Traders got one color. Uh, although it kind of looks like the same way it looked when they were uh, on a mental break. It was like green. Nomi's a prisoner, so their name is yellow. Their sprite is yellow. Can you select all found? No. No. So potentially still, you might want... I think you would still want a allow tool, personally. I think you'd still want um, a loud tool. Not just for that, but also for the haul urgently. You can't tell them to haul anything urgently still. Um, but I think a loud tool for like being able to be like, like select all similar things in this visible area, select all similar things in, on the map. Um, I, I really like those features of a loud tool. That, that is so good, though. The allow tool, yes, correct. So they did implement one massive functionality from allow tool, which is the ability to mine an entire vein of ore. At first, it looks like it's not designating the entire vein, but we tested it, and once someone starts mining, um, mm -hmm. please be assigned to mining. Kiralees, you're in a good mood. Can you come here? How about you mine this one? This will show a better example. It's a very nice quality of life addition for unmodded players, vanilla players. Absolutely agreed. All of these things are nice additions. Um, pretty sure. I mean, the crawling thing is a little bit weird, but I still think I like it overall. Like a downed colonist is going to try that. You're very bad at this. Is who's... Osiris. Come here. 
Um, it'll expand, but we have to get through the one tile of ore to see it expand. The lookup function is like, oh crap, where did I leave that kidney or that mono sword or whatever, right? So after Osiris mined that one tile, it expanded and there was another one available, which is designated for mining. Automatically designated for mining. I have not. Let's look at it. Okay. Reading policies. This is so cool. Okay, so you can have reading policies available for your colonists, assign them to various reading policies, and the default examples. Yes, yeah, so the books you have to buy from traders. We confirm that you can't make them. You can get them from quests or buy them from traders. We've already bought three just from like our first caravan that arrived. Uh, I had to spawn some silver in, but um, <laughs> we bought them right away. So there are some that are just like with regular, with regular um, caravans. Now, schematic, is that like a tech print or is this going to be like, can help unlock new technologies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's different than I think what you're thinking of. It's not a tech print. What a schematic is, is actually a study of a research. Um, so like a book which describes technologies and methods for using it, reading schematics help unlock new technologies. So we had one that was medicine production. We since sold it because we unlocked all the research for free with dev mode. Um, but the medicine production book that we bought taught us the research of medicine production. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, completes part or all of the research that it's about. Exactly. They aren't tech prints unlocking royalty tech. No. You're still going to have tech prints. But what they are, NetJam Jr., is like if you get one that says medicine production and you read it, you could unlock medicine production uh, without having to do a more in-depth research time, right? So like a book is just telling you how to do it. When you research it, you have to learn how to do it for yourself. So I'm guessing the schematics are gonna be much faster than spending that same amount of time researching, right? You sit and you read it once and you get that technology or some portion of it unlocked. Uh, textbooks will be for learning skills. So skill gain here, it says shooting, melee, construction, everything is listed here including uh, up to intellectual and then novels would be stories for entertainment of course it's super neat i'm into it i'm really into the books also if anyone wasn't here when we went through the other aspect of the books is the book case the book case enhances academic work done nearby increases the beauty of the bookcase. So basically, as you put books on the bookcase, it increases the beauty of the bookcase itself and enhances academic work done nearby. Do we know what all the academic work is? My guess is research. Yeah, simple research bench. Simple research bench, bench gets boosted by bookshelves. See that? You see the link? So if we were doing simple research, it would get enhanced. Uh, this might be too far away. Yeah, it's just too far away. It's just too far away. Let's see. Does it say anything about how much it boosts it? When we had some books on the shelf... Um, 43% withdrawal. When we had some books on the shelf, it... Let's make these critical. When we had some books on the shelf, it gave us more details. Let's move the books. I'm just going to make them haul really urgently because it's kind of the only thing I care about them doing. <laughs> Jennifer, what's going on? Ambrosia withdrawal. Don't make me throw you in prison, too. 
Uh, should we just make someone this role that they want, whatever this role is that they want in ideology? Okay, Yed, please clean this room. Big Briar, please deconstruct these. Yed, please clean this room. That's my kind of interior decorating. A research library? Should display on the multiplier bonus on the research bench. Um, it's too far away though. Doesn't actually reach. Skog's Guide to Nursing. Wait, what? Medical, 250 XP per hour. Max level of eight. So this is how Vanilla Books Expanded worked. There was a max competency. So like, uh, someone would have to be like really, really good at the skill and at writing to write a book that would like help people get to higher skill levels. Most of the books were limited to like, people with lower skill numbers like this, max level of eight. But everyone that reads this could work towards a higher doctoring skill. So for example, we could be like, Osiris, you need to read Skag's Guide to Nursing and become a better nurse. And then Osiris is gonna find somewhere nice to read. Oh my God, so hecking cute. Look at freaking Osiris. I took a screenshot because it's so cute. It's cute. It's so cute. <laughs> vanilla. I can't believe this is vanilla. It makes me so happy. They're reading. They have this ornate door behind them. The compacted plasteel and other ore veins are auto expanding. Uh, I hope books increase kids' learning need. Um, learning need? What do you mean? Like, kids might need to read more. Is that what you mean? Uh, Ned James Jr. had the brilliant idea to think about a, having a child. So let's get a child in the colony. Ned James Jr., who are you? Um, you are a melee brawler. What's your learning need? Children need new lessons, experience to grow up well. We'll be kind of happy without them. Anything to do with books? I don't see anything to do with books. Where's the school bench? School desk. This is like all steel and kind of like gray. So I feel like the school desk also needs to be gray. <laughs> it's not that nice looking though. Blackboard. Slate, perfect. I do miss my color coded minerals. Reading was on the list that kids need to learn. Okay, I missed it. Um. Come up there and mind that. Net Jam Jr. Learning. <clears throat> Reading. Oh my God. It's right hacking there. Activities that fulfill a child's learning uh, desire to learn include all the things we saw before and reading. Yeah, three blackboards. I need like an actual like room for this though. Here, they'll just be in a cave of blackboards and studies. Um, we gotta get the dutiful counselor. Before y'all go to sleep, they're already asleep. Who's the best at this? Yeah, Twigbriar. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's good. I like these lights. They get a really good zone of light. Like, that whole space is being lit up from this one lamp in the corner. Um, okay, so Twig Rider's got the role, so that's gonna help a little bit with moods. Shouldn't, uh, some people have, um, different weapons? What are you doing, Net Jam Jr.? No, you're a child. You get to play. Have fun. Okay. Um, it's a tough life being a child who has to play and have fun. Get rid of that. 
Tantrum Nomeos. Yeah. Sounds about right. Are those new sound effects? Are those always the sound effects? Forgot about these ridiculous walls I built. My giant walls. Walls of protection that don't really protect you fully anyway, but it's fine. <laughs> I like them. Oh, I forgot to open this. That's gotta be open. Chaos Lobster, can you open this for me? Also, we... Hey. Stop with the chain shotgun. Make the flak armor first. What are we missing? We're missing things. Cloth. Cloth. Possibly steel. We could set everyone to mine on a higher priority. They're going to hate it, but it's fine. What about not these people, though? Because they're really bad at it. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll work on getting some steel. We can put down more slate floors in here. Maybe in there. Um, we need the cloth. We are growing cloth. Some. It's a really big zone. Congrats on the heist. Reading on the list to learn. That's so exciting. That's a lot of corn. Yeah, I just, I just, like, gotta get. This is all rice. Do you mean this? This is all rice. This is not that much. I would need more. Normally with a colony of, like, I don't know. I always want to have, like, enough, like, food to get through, like, all of winter um, without issue. What is going on over here? We should release Nomeos. Wait, are you still addicted to alcohol? 47%? You haven't even fought this addiction at all. Okay, fine. Stay here. We'll reduce your resistance. Heat stroke. Yeah, because we don't have dusters. Super cool. Alcohol binge Jonifer. Okay. Isn't someone else supposed to be tailoring? Kirlies. Kirlies. What's your skill level? Three? Sure. You're good enough. Kirlies will do it. Um. This is cool. Is there anything else we missed? Is there anything else we missed? We don't really know about things that will be added with the DLC, of course. Uh, but it's really cool to see these updates in Unstable 1.5. I'm definitely excited. I mean, look at this. Like, when I zoom out, Jonifer, who's on the mental break, is green. Nomi, who's in prison, is yellow. The animals that are wild are blue, but our pets are white, just like our colonists, see? So as you zoom out and you scan the map, the color actually tells you a lot about what you're seeing. But it's not just that. You can actually see the shape as well. The shape. So that's a rhino, but it's like a simplified blue rhino. These are capybaras, right? Like You can tell what they are. But they're simplified sprites. And for me, that's huge because I have run into issues with performance with my, like, 30, 40 colonists things. There were some new sound effects. I also noticed that Nomi's tantrum sounded different, Gamer Plane. It sounded like Nomi's tantrum was a little bit more intense, I think. Um, intense noise. You heard new sound effects with the animals eating. Yeah. Cool. Your current colony is on fire with several manhunters and centipede mech running wild anyways. Yeah, I might try my best to finish the orphanage. That's kind of my hope. But other than that, I am going to be taking a bit of a hiatus from RimWorld. So that way, when the DLC comes out, we can just really go hard with it. Uh, I have some plans to spend some time in some other games, including the Stardew Valley 1.6 update. We'll probably also spend some more time in colony. Uh, I would like to spend some time in colony ship. Hi, Calico Cobalt. How's it going? Um, I did my first look at Colony Ship for the YouTube. So you can check it out over there before I do any streams of it. I think it would be fun to spend like a little bit of time in Colony Ship. It will be a lot of reading and talking. So then we might like, you know, spend a little bit of time in it and spend some time in Stardew during the same stream or something like that. Um, 
There's a few other games I think we'd like to spend more time in. United Penguin Kingdom was fun. I think that would be good. Um, and I have, I mean, I have a bunch of games, right? Like Roots of Yggdrasil is really cool. It's in early access, but I'd like to spend more time in it before we put it aside waiting for an update. So I think we'll take a little bit of a break. We'll focus on some of the other stuff. Um, and then right when the DLC releases, we'll probably have a new stream run and a new YouTube run kick off. Um, because I will want to play it outside of stream. So I'll make that into content for the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so that way I can play it outside of stream, you know? I think that I'm going to leave it here. I know this is a little bit short for what I normally do. Um, normally streaming six to seven hours, but I really want to go celebrate with our friends. So Everdream. And also I do kind of feel like we saw a lot of the updates. We're not going to be sticking with this colony. Um, and therefore I think it's okay to just kind of like leave it here for this and go say hi and celebrate with them yes okay i will upload this i will upload this to um probably my main youtube channel even though i don't normally put vods there because it's a first look at unstable and i do first looks on the main channel uh and it's rimworld so RimWorld stuff gets tends to get priority, right? Um, so yeah, I'll upload it. I'll get it out there, and um, you know, we will we, we'll, we will be in the new DLC anomaly when it comes out, without a doubt. 